Okay, hi everybody. Um, I'm delighted to introduce Dr. Joe Hikaka to our uh, virtual um, virtual discussion on the couch. And uh, Joe will be a plenary at the uh, at the NZAG conference in September, and we're really excited to hear from her about her research. She is a research pharmacist, academic pharmacist, and is so passionate about older people and health and aging for Māori. Uh, it's just delightful to welcome you, Jo, and I'll hand over to you. To say Tēnā koe. Tēnā koe, Nairi. Thank you for having me along today. Um, ko Taranaki te maunga, ko Ngāroa hene te iwi, ko Tamahuroa te hapu, ko Jo Hikaka tōku ingoa. Um, my name's Jo Hikaka, and as Nairi introduced, I'm a pharmacist and researcher based um, at the University of Auckland in Te Kupinga Hōra Māori. And it's my... Um, Pleasure to be with you here here today. So thank you for inviting me along, Nari. Great. Now, so uh, we have a few questions which we'd like to just lead a brief discussion. So, Joe, what makes you so passionate about about this topic of aging? Um, I think it's really hard to think about that. I've, I, as a pharmacist, I've sort of always worked with older people um, in the hospital setting and age residential care and in community. And so I think I've just sort of naturally fallen into that space. What I love about the area, though, is the, um, the complexity, the people you work with, the fact that you have to think about so many different things that have happened through a person's entire life, um, what's important to them uh, and all their experiences and how that impacts on their their daily life. So, um, I mean, I've worked with Komatua and one person, um, when they were describing a health interaction, they said to me, no te fiti fiti kore o e mohi o ai. So basically, when there's shared dialogue or backwards and forward conversation, then, you know, understanding is gained. And so they were talking about a specific health interaction, but for me that sort of encapsulates what I enjoy about this work is um, talking to people, uh, understanding um, about their experiences and how that impacts on my professional but also um, personal life and um, and how I go about things. And so I just really enjoy that. Um, I also think that, you know, I feel... Um, a responsibility to think about where I can best serve people and I think in this area of ageing where that's understudied, under-resourced, um, then I can have a, a role that could be useful um, in that space. Oh, that's great. Um, our piti piti kororo. So um, I, I know that um, there are many issues for older Māori. So how do you, what, what issues do you see as being really important at this time? Yeah, I think um, one of the biggest issues is ageism itself. So even thinking about ageing as an issue, right? So we talk about ageing as an issue and that sort of normative approach in a lot of conversation in society, but we don't think about the value, the contribution, the opportunity there is from um, an ageing community and ageing society. So if we actually include and work with older people, um, you know, there's real potential in terms of the solutions that could be delivered for the wider society. So I think that we, off, I, mean, I think that's the biggest issue is that older people are often excluded from these conversations, their experiences aren't valued, they don't have power um, to talk into or uh, into these situations and to create solutions that they actually might have really good answers to. Great, great answer. Yeah, and so, I think that if we go back to, I guess, Māori society where the kaumātua, older people are valued, then we can really take, um, uh, you know, that as an example of the um, importance and the opportunity that we um, can have with working with older people. That's great. So this conference, our conference Rethinking Ageing, what are you going to talk about, Jo? Um, I am going to talk about Kopapa Māori research practices. Um, and so um, for me, it's thinking about the practical application of those practices, giving examples of how um, I and other um, teams I've worked with have worked, uh, undertaken Kopapa Māori research with Kaumatua, with older people. Um, and I think. I mean, I guess I'm trying to highlight the relevance to a wider audience as well. So um, Kaupapa Māori research is sort of rights-based and values-based approach to research. And I think that there's lots of application for the general audience in terms of um, 
the practices seen in kaupapa Māori research, and that might be for people that are working in the kaupapa Māori research space or outside it, but there's some, you know, there's value in thinking about the rights of um, Māori, the rights of older people in research, um, and how we promote um, good values within our research. And I think it's important for everyone researching in Aotearoa to have an understanding of kaupapa Māori practices, but also that there's um, real global um, potential for um, these approaches in a more general context. I think I think it's going to be a very vibrant conference, and I think your contribution is going to be really important for, for all the delegates. No, I'm really looking forward to it, and I've had the um, opportunity, I guess, to see some of the abstracts that will be presented at the conference, and there's real diversity. There's, um, it's really exciting seeing the range of topics that are on show, and hopefully within my keynote I can um, highlight some of those and give space to others that are presenting at the conference too. That's absolutely great. All right, Joe. well, we'll look forward to seeing you there, and um, Good luck with all the preparations. We certainly uh, are enjoying those abstracts as they come through. And I agree with you. There's a there's a really vibrant diversity there, which will be really, there'll be something for everybody. Yeah. Thank you, Nairi. Great talking to you.